Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to talk about stem cell shoulder treatment and whether or not you can avoid surgery by using your own stem cells and the patented Regenix protocol. So I'm going to go over five key concepts fairly quickly here. The first is whether these tears that we see on rotator cuff MRIs are a strong predictor of pain. And what's really fascinating is that they aren't. We all believe that the doctor says we have a rotator cuff tear on the MRI and that our shoulder hurts. Therefore, those two things must be connected. But in fact, as you can see here, based on this 2015 study, uh, there is no connection that larger rotator cuff tears actually had less pain. Uh, and in addition, the single biggest thing that predicted pain was actually an inflammatory marker and not the appearance of the rotator cuff tear on MRI. So be very careful if your doctor says you have shoulder issues simply because an MRI was taken. It's a bit more complex than that. Second is... Uh, whether a surgical rotator cuff healing is associated with improvement. Now, this would seem to make common sense, right? The doctor is going to go in, he's going to sew up your shoulder, um, and it's going to heal, and then your shoulder is going to feel better. But in fact, the research uh, that's been performed recently shows that when we look at a bunch of different studies, that doesn't happen, uh, meaning that we don't have a great correlation between whether or not the patient improved and if that rotator cuff actually healed on MRI. So for instance, we see patients uh, who have no improvement in the healing of the rotator cuff on MRI after surgery who do just fine. And we see patients who uh, don't heal at all who do just fine and vice versa with both of those. So again, really interesting stuff. How about here? What's the existing MRI evidence that stem cell injections using this patented Regenix protocol can actually help what the shoulder looks like on MRI? And we see here two examples up top there. Off on the left, you can see the red arrow pointing at a large rotator cuff tear. And then a few months after the procedure, uh, there appears to be no rotator cuff tear on the MRI. On the lower right, we see the same exact thing in a different patient. Uh, so again, on the, on the right, uh, you see that uh, on the uh, left before image, that red arrow points at a large rotator cuff, rotator cuff tear. And then the right side of that image uh, after the procedure does appear to have no rotator cuff tear on the MRI. And this is again just after an injection of the patient's own stem cells without any surgery. And if we look at what's been published, Regenix is the only group to date that has published any information on the use of stem cells to treat shoulder injuries. And on this 115 patients that was published in June of 2015, reported very good results. Now this is what's called a case series that's followed in a registry. So this is 115 patients where data collect was collected as they were treated, not a randomized controlled trial. However, this is the early results of a randomized controlled trial where in the process of performing this is 20 patients that were randomized either to exercise therapy or to the shoulder stem cell injection. And you can see here that the patients with regard to function and pain are both doing better in the group that was treated with this patented Regenix protocol versus the group who were treated just with exercise therapy, i.e. physical therapy. In fact, uh, the function is worse and the pain is worse in folks treated with exercise therapy, while the function of the pain is better with, uh, the, in the patients who were treated with this Regenix protocol. So that's it 
Thanks for watching. For more information on the patented rotator cuff treatment protocol used by Regenix, there's a link here for you to find out more. And uh, have a wonderful day.